Oh, that's superb. It's called snake fruit in English. Sala in Thai. What a wonderful fruit. Good morning, I hope you're having an amazing day. It's Mark Weens, I'm in Chantaburi, Thailand, and this is day three of our Eastern Provinces of Thailand food tour. Uh, today we are driving from Chantaburi to Trat, and there are, we're, we're gonna stop at two legendary restaurants, and that's the plan for the day, so I'm gonna share all of the delicious food with you in this video right now. <laughs> and we've got a whole bag for the road. There's this one phrase in Thai, Ta mai dai gin te wa ma mai tung, and that directly translates to if you haven't eaten this dish, you haven't arrived to this destination. And every province in Thailand, even some, almost every city has a couple of these dishes. We are about to eat this dish, and it was about just just about a 15 minute drive from the center of Chantaburi. This is a place. It's in the countryside. Uh, it's gonna be good. So I got, so I love that. Wait, the Mu Liang. Mu Liang. Oh, ho, ho, ho. Here it is, the dish is called Kwetia Muliang. And this is, if you ask anybody from Jantaburi, a dish that you cannot miss when you, when you visit Jantaburi. Again, again, the dish that you haven't arrived to Jantaburi until you've tried. This is the dish. Uh, you can choose your noodles and then there's some pork in it and then she also has a beef version as well. I, I think it's all about the broth. In that broth simmering you can see whole chunks of pineapple and there's both chicken and pork in there. And so definitely the first thing you have to do is just taste that broth. Mmm. Mm. Yeah, it does have that kind of like fruity, acidic touch from the pineapple. But like with all good bowls of noodles, it's time to season. I'm gonna go in first for some chili vinegar. Oh, this is some thick and hearty chili vinegar. Oh, that looks fantastic. And then of course, you gotta go in for the chili flakes. Stir this up a little bit. And I went with sendek, which is this type of rice noodle the medium sized. There's also a little bit of vegetables in here, some uh, water morning glory, and then some other herb. Oh, that chili vinegar. That's good stuff. Overall, the entire dish is a little on the sweet side. The broth is kind of sweet. Um, but balanced with that vinegar and the chili flakes, it's good. I'd like to try the beef version next. And also some meatballs, same noodles, same broth, uh, but this is nabai, which is like braised beef. We gotta go in for that broth and I'm gonna go in for some of those herbs as well. Oh, that pineapple sweetness. And this chili vinegar is the condiment of choice. This is, this is where it's at. and mix that around, add a little bit of those. The little chili flakes. Mix this guy up. Okay, and on this bite, I gotta go for some, a little bit of everything, especially with that beef. That's still really hot. Okay, how about a meatball? Oh, oh that has a pretty nice texture. Mm -hmm. And you can taste the black pepper in that. Meatballs like that have really started to, to grow on me. Oh. 
for me, it, it's okay, not not amazing. It, it's a little on the sweet side, but it's definitely a dish you have to eat when you come to Jantaburi. And the location, the, they're really friendly. The location here is fantastic. The atmosphere is great. From here, we are driving towards Trat. And the next restaurant is the one I'm, uh, I'm most looking forward to today. We're gonna have a rice and curry feast of local Trat dishes. Uh, it's about a 30 minute drive to get there. We're on our way now. That was about a 30 minute drive to get to this restaurant and this is one of the most legendary Khao Gang restaurants which is rice and curry restaurants. Uh, it's just, we just crossed over the border from Jantaburi to Trat. So we're about 20 kilometers outside of Prat town right now, but we're in the province and we're here before 11 a.m. But they, they only have a, a small selection, but the good news is they still have some awesome dishes to try. And I ordered everything they had that looked good. And by the way, this restaurant is called Khao Gang San Tung. I'll begin with this dish right here, which is called Bla Ka Gai. And this is a dish I've never had before. It's some type of fish stir fried with I think it's cucumber. There are some. Uh, there's some herbs in there. There's chilies. This this looks fantastic. It looks awesome. Mm. Mm. Yeah, it's a very firm fish, almost like like a tuna. Um, and then the the cucumber, the, the type of melon, just kind of it, it's really soft. It just sort of melts in your mouth. You've got, I believe that's uh, holy basil in there which has a little bit of a peppery like almost tingly sensation to your tongue and then it has a has a little bit of a sweet slash spicy balance to it next dish is gang hoi saparot uh this is some type of little snails or shellfish i think some type of look, look like little blood cockles and then that's pineapple but you can see all the chilies folded in there as well Oh, that's awesome. Something I love about the food in this region of Thailand is how they really mix the savory with the sweet, but for the sweet, how they often use lots of fruit. Of all the dishes though, the dish I'm, I'm most excited that they had and I had to order immediately is the guang geng guang. Uh, now guang is a, it's a type of deer and it's stir fried with na saparot, which is the top of the pineapple, you know that that part with the the kind of spikes that come off that you pull off the top of a pineapple before you cut open the pineapple. That is what it's stir fried with, and I think it's the bottom pieces of that where they slice it up fine, slice it up finely. I believe the official name for it is pineapple crown. It's the top of the pineapple. Oh. Oh, that is the dish. It's absolutely sensational. You do, if, I mean, if you if you think about it, you can actually taste the pineapple. Uh, I mean, it has more of a subtle flavor. It has a texture that's similar and a crunch that's similar to a bamboo shoot. Uh, but then with it, it, it has this like really like satisfying crunch in your mouth. Okay, that's the dish. I think I better order another plate before they run out of it. Oh, that's good. That's outstanding. Next dish is Lukshin Blan Si. And Blan Si is king mackerel. But then they're made into um, Lukshin, which are meatballs or fish balls. And then it looks like a, a nice green curry sauce. <laughs> mm. Down's a little more on the sweeter side. It does have a kind of a green curry property. So I think they are using green chilies in that. And it has a nice, refreshing, uh, citrusy taste to it. Maybe coming from those kaffir lime leaves as well as the, the basil in there, the sweet basil. The fish meatballs themselves are very spongy. 
Um, they have a, a, an extreme bounce to them. And finally, just because they had it, we got a, a this is a mackerel. It's, this is kind of a candied, it, it's definitely going to be sweet. I knew it was going to be sweet. It's okay, it's not my favorite. It almost has like a, a sweet and salty, syrupy kind of taste to it. Go on a few chilies. And this dish is also a stunner. Um, This is one of those dishes that I absolutely had to order another plate for dessert. There's nothing more exciting in front of me than this plate of food right now. That's just spectacular. Oh, that is my favorite dessert. Wow, what a dish. You can really taste the black pepper in there too. Oh, oh, that's a, a pure happiness dish. Micah? Is that Micah? Micah, did you scratch my nose? I just noticed I have a, a little scratch on my nose. Okay, that was a spectacular meal. Oh, and even though they didn't have that many choices of dishes to order, all of them are good, uh, the, specifically the deer with the pineapple crown. I just, every time I say crown, I gotta go like this, pineapple crown. That, that's the dish you have to order, that's the dish you have to eat, and it will be impossible to stop at one plate. You'll have to eat two back-to-back -back plates, one plate for dessert. Oh, my mouth is just rejoicing. That's one of those plates of food where your mouth is rejoicing after you finish it. We probably have just about 15 or 20 minutes before we arrive to the center of Krat town. Whoa and a little snake fruit to finish it off. If you could smell the car in here, the entire car smells like snake fruit, kind of like that, that fermented fruity taste. All right, and we're off. Welcome to Trat, and I can already feel the relaxation setting in. That was just about a 15 minute drive from the restaurant to get here, and we're staying at a place that's called Banrim Nam Resort. I'll have the information in the description box. Uh, but Trat is very well known, especially as being a jump off point for many of the different islands. So a lot of people just kind of pass through this town, go jump on a ferry or a speedboat, and head directly to the island. But we have two full days here have some very cool things planned that I'm gonna share with you in this video series. We'll be doing a full food tour of Trat, the town, and then also have a trip planned to a village to cook some local food. That will all be coming up in this video series. But for now today, we're just gonna hang out. So I'm gonna end today's video right now. Uh, what, a, what a day it's been, what a spectacular meal. I, I still have the flavor of that deer and those pineapple crowns lingering on my taste buds. Oh, that was delicious. Uh, okay, thank you so much for watching this video and stay tuned for the next video. Remember to click subscribe and also turn on your bell notifications so that you get notified of the next video that I publish. Thanks again for watching and I will see you on the next video.